In this video I'm going to show you how to design an optimum order filter to meet a particular specification. Now in order to do that you need to be familiar with some of MATLAB's terminology for filter specifications. So I'm going to use an example specification just to run through the terminology first of all. And uh, I'm going to use this function to do that, to, well to, to create a plot of an example filter specification. Now it isn't a MATLAB function but it is available up at this website here. Um, so let's just hit return and this is an example of a filter specification for a low pass filter. With any filter specification we have something that's referred to as the stop band frequency and in this case um, the stop band frequency for this low pass filter spec is a value of 0 0.5 and it basically specifies the fre frequency over which all frequencies will be reduced by a certain factor. So in this case the range of frequencies between 0 0.5 and 1 will be reduced by a certain amount or a certain factor. And that factor or amount is referred to as the stop band attenuation. And in this example the stop band attenuation is a value of uh, minus 40. Okay, um, So minus 40 dB. And minus 40 dB is uh, equivalent to 0 0.001, or sorry, 0 0.01 um, in a linear scale. So in other words, frequencies between 0 0.5 and 1 will be reduced by a factor of 100. So in addition to the stop band frequency, there's also a parameter known as the pass band frequency. And in this example here, the pass band frequency corresponds to 0 0.1. So what that means for a low pass filter design is that frequencies between 0, 0 and 0 0.1 um, are allowed to be attenuated by up to a certain amount. And that certain amount is referred to as the pass band ripple. And in this example, the pass band ripple is a value of, um, just reading off the scale here, looks like it's about 5 dB. So we have 5 dB of pass band ripple. So in this range of frequencies here, uh, I'll just change the color of the pen. Uh, so in this range of frequencies here, we're allowed up to 5 dB of attenuation. Um, in the magnitude response of our filter. So let me just sketch out a couple of frequency responses of systems then that meet this specification. So um, this pink line now represents the magnitude response of something that will meet the spec because over the pass band uh, between 0 and 0 0.1 uh, frequencies will not be attenuated by any more of 5 dB. Okay. And then if I continue on the frequency response down like this, now we're, we're meeting the spec in the stop band because all frequencies in the range of 0 0.5 up to 1 are being reduced by more than 40 dB. So this pink um, magnitude response that I've sketched out would meet the desired spec. Um, I'll give you another example of a spec that's been met. Um, I'll just choose a colour. We'll just do it in orange. Okay, so now I'll draw uh, another frequency response and I'm going to oscillate it a little bit. And I just got across the edge of that box there. So I've still, none of the frequencies between 0 and 0 0.1 are being attenuated by any more than 5 dB. So that's still got the spec has been met. And if I draw this uh, magnitude response through the corner of this box, now this frequency response is still meeting the specification since all frequencies between 0 0.5 and 1 are being reduced by at least 40 dB and all frequencies between 0 and 0 0.1 are not being attenuated by any more than 5 dB. Therefore, the specification has been met. Now, if I just clear those two lines, um, and I'll show you an example of a, a system, the frequency response of a system that doesn't meet the specification. So I'll just draw it in purple here. So if I was to draw this response, okay, now we see 
in this region here before the end of the passband at 0 0.1 frequencies above well I'll show it in this red here frequencies in this region will be attenuated by more than 5 dB so that system uh, or the magnitude response doesn't meet the specification um, in the passband region now the, in the stop band region this frequency response is fine but it would fail to meet the specification because it doesn't meet the spec in the passband um, let's do one now just a final example to hit home those points so now we have a system frequency response of a system again shown in purple now the passband specification has been met because there's frequencies in the range of 0 to 0 0.1 are not being attenuated by any more than 5 dB but if we were to draw the spec like this there we go we can see that the spec is no longer being met because frequencies in this region here from 0 0.5 up to roughly 0 0.6 these frequencies here are not being attenuated by uh, a, at least 40 dB therefore the spec won't be met so let's just clear all that and we'll get back to the command window Now ultimately what I'd like to do is um, show you how to design uh, uh, a filter which has a, a minimum order which will meet the specification shown but before doing that I'm just going to remind you how to use the Butterworth uh, filter design function in MATLAB. So the name of the function is called Butter and we specify an order so I'm saying a 20th order filter um, and I'm going to specify a cutoff frequency of 0 0.3 and um, I'm going to specify that it's low. Now the default is a low pass filter but I'm just going to explicitly show that there. And the filter design function has now given me a set of B and A coefficients and those B and A coefficients, the frequency response associated with those uh, would produce a frequency response to meet the specification. So the normal way we get the frequency response of a system is to use the, the freak z function so I give it the b and a values and then I can plot the magnitudes of h just to show the frequency response okay so there's the frequency response of that filter but it's shown on a linear scale okay um, now to see whether it actually meets the spec um, I could plot it on a db scale uh, so multiply the magnitudes by 20 log 10 um, but what I'm going to do is just use a feature that I included in the create filter spec plot which will show me the frequency response um, if I include the B and A coefficients in the uh, parameters of the function so by passing these B and, a, B and A coefficients I'm going to see the frequency response plotted on a dB scale uh, along with the filter specification so here's the frequency response of that filter and we can see that the blue line there is the frequency response and we can see that it meets the specification with lots of room to spare so a 20th order filter uh, with a cutoff frequency set at 0 0.3 is meets the spec very clearly okay now what I want to do is um, design a minimum order filter because the smaller the order of the filter the less computational costs associated with actually implementing the filter okay so um, let's use a built-in function in MATLAB to do that so just going back to the command window um, the name of the, fil the function that we use in MATLAB to obtain the optimum order is called ButOrd and um, there is equivalent ones for Chebyshev filter design called Cheboard and uh, also elliptical filter design called Ellipboard but they all work in the same way ultimately what they do is they identify the optimum order and they return the optimum order N they also give you the frequency that you should use in your filter design so back up here I specify two parameters the order and the cutoff frequency but ORD tells me the order and the cutoff frequency to use to meet a particular specification and I specify 
in this way here. I have four parameters. The first parameter corresponds to the stop on frequency. The second path, or sorry, the first parameter specifies the pass band frequency. The second parameter specifies the stop band frequency. The third parameter spe specifies the, the pass band ripple. And the last parameter specifies the stop band attenuation. Uh, so that specifies that the stop band, all frequencies in the stop band will be reduced by at least 40 dB. Okay. So when I run that function, I get back two parameters, 3 and 0 0.1351. So if I use these parameters in my filter design, so I'll just go back up here, I'm going to create new variables b1 and a1, and I'm going to tell Butterworth to use a value of, uh, well I'll use the variable n, but n is equal to 3, and the other variable omega n, which is equal to this value here. And what should happen now is when I hit return, is I get those b and a values, and if I was to use my create filter spec plot function again and pass instead b1 and a1 now, I should see the frequency response of the system. Okay, and there is the frequency response there shown in blue, and we can see that it does meet the specification. It goes through the corner of this block, which represents a stop band uh, range, and we can see that all frequencies above 0 0.5 are now attenuated by at least 40 dB, and no frequency in the pass band is attenuated by any more than 5 dB, so the spec is met. Now if we just go back to the command window again, it, it, this function up here, the butthard function, told me that the optimum order was, was 3. So I just want to verify that this function actually worked correctly, um, because if I use an order of 2, I shouldn't be able to meet the spec. So what I'll do now is design the filter again, but instead of using an order of 3, I'll use an order of 2. And I'll create I'll store the B and A parameters in B2 and A2. And now I hit return, I've designed my filter using the Butterworth uh, filter design function. And I'll run this function again, create filter spec, but change the parameters again to B2 and A2. And I expect that the filter design, um, or the filter, produced will not meet the spec and we can see from the blue line that it doesn't. We can see that all the frequencies um, above, well between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, none of those frequencies are being attenuated by uh, any more than, uh, well they're only being attenuated by about 30 dB, if even that. So it doesn't meet the specification. Uh, one thing you could do is, if you could see if you could change the natural frequency, if I change the cutoff frequency rather of the function, I could pull back the frequency, but I don't think I can do it enough. Let's, I'll, I'll try it. Um, just give me a second. So what I'm going to do is redesign the filter one last time. I'll use an order of two, but what I'm going to do is change the cutoff frequency to um, make a point. 0 0.1, 0 0.01. Okay, and now let's see if that change to my filter design has had an improvement in terms of whether we met the filter spec or not. So we can see that I pulled the uh, frequency back the natural frequency back a little bit and left the order at 2. We're no longer meeting the um, pass band frequency spec. Um, so it's just really verifying that the optimum order certainly isn't 2, uh, but as the MATLAB butthard function told us, the optimum order is 3. Okay, so thanks for your attention.